Composting is the process of breaking down organic material into a nutrient-rich soil amendment that can be used to improve soil health and plant growth. It's a simple and effective way to reduce waste, save money, and support a healthy environment. In this video, we'll explore the many benefits of composting and give you practical tips on how to get started. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, composting is an easy and rewarding way to make a positive impact on the planet. So let's dive in and discover the wonders of composting. Benefits of Composting Composting has numerous benefits, both for the environment and for your own gardening efforts. Here are just a few of the benefits of composting. Reduces waste. Composting is a great way to divert organic waste from landfills, where it would otherwise contribute to greenhouse gas emissions and take up space. Improves soil health. Compost is rich in nutrients and beneficial microorganisms that can improve soil health and fertility. When added to soil, compost can help plants grow stronger and healthier. Saves money. By composting, you can reduce the amount of money you spend on commercial fertilizers and soil amendments. You can also save money on trash disposal fees by diverting organic waste from the landfill. Supports a healthy environment. Composting helps to reduce pollution and conserve natural resources. It's a simple and effective way to support a healthy and sustainable environment. Helps to conserve water. Compost can help to conserve water in your garden by improving soil structure and water holding capacity. Compost can also reduce water runoff and erosion, which can help to prevent soil loss and improve water quality. Supports a healthy microbiome. Composting can help to support a healthy microbiome in your soil, which is essential for plant growth and health. By adding organic matter to your soil, you can increase the diversity of beneficial microorganisms, which can help to prevent plant diseases and promote healthy plant growth. Creates jobs. Composting can create jobs in your community, from composting facility operators to gardeners and landscapers who use compost in their work. By supporting local composting initiatives, you can help to create jobs and support a sustainable economy. As you can see, composting has many benefits. So if you're not already composting, now is the time to get started. Getting started with composting. If you're ready to start composting, here are some simple steps to get started. Choose a location. First, choose a location for your compost pile or bin. Ideally, it should be in a shaded area with good drainage. Select a container. Next, select a composting container that suits your needs. This could be a simple pile or a composting bin. If you're short on space, you can even use a small countertop composter. Gather materials. To make compost, you'll need a mix of brown and green materials. Brown materials include dry leaves, straw, and shredded paper, while green materials include grass clippings, vegetable scraps, and coffee grounds. Layer materials. Once you have your materials, start layering them in your compost bin or pile. Begin with a layer of brown materials, then add a layer of green materials. Continue layering until your compost pile is about 3 feet high. Add water. Be sure to keep your compost pile moist by adding water regularly. A good rule of thumb is to keep it as damp as a wrung-out sponge. Turn the compost. Every few weeks use a pitchfork or shovel to turn your compost pile. This helps to aerate the pile and speed up the composting process. Harvest your compost. After several months, your compost should be ready to use. Use a screen to sift out any large, undecomposed material and add the finished compost to your garden soil. By following these simple steps, you can start composting and enjoy all the benefits it has to offer. When it comes to composting, there are many different methods to choose from. Here are some of the most popular composting methods. Traditional composting. This is the most common method of composting. It involves creating a pile of organic material and allowing it to decompose naturally over time. This method requires little equipment and is suitable for large or small-scale composting. Vermicomposting. Vermicomposting is a method of composting that uses worms to break down organic material. This method is ideal for those with limited space or who want to compost indoors. Vermicomposting produces nutrient-rich worm castings, which are highly valued as a soil amendment. Bokashi Composting 
Bokashi composting is a method that uses a special mixture of microorganisms to ferment organic material. This method is popular in Japan and is gaining popularity in other parts of the world. Bokashi composting produces a highly concentrated and nutrient-rich compost that can be used immediately in the garden. Composting with tumblers. Composting tumblers are enclosed containers that allow for easy mixing and aeration of compost. They are ideal for those who want to compost quickly and without the need for manual turning. Tumbling composters are also great for small spaces and can be used indoors or outdoors. When choosing a composting method, consider your space, budget, and time constraints. All of these methods can produce nutrient-rich compost, so choose the one that best suits your needs and lifestyle. Knowing what materials to compost is important to ensure that your compost pile breaks down quickly and produces nutrient-rich compost. Here are some materials you can compost. Fruit and vegetable scraps, coffee grounds and tea leaves, eggshells, grass clippings and leaves, shredded paper and cardboard, sawdust and wood shavings, dry leaves and plant material, hair and fur, nutshells, manure from herbivores, cows, horses or rabbits. However, there are some materials that you should not compost as they can attract pests, emit odors or create other problems. Here are some materials you should avoid composting, meat, fish and bones, dairy products, fats, oils and grease, pet waste, diseased or pest-infested plants, charcoal ashes, synthetic chemicals such as pesticides and herbicides, weeds that have gone to seed. By avoiding these materials, you can ensure that your compost pile stays healthy and produces high-quality compost. It's important to note that composting requires patience, as it can take several months for your compost to be ready to use. However, the end result is well worth the wait. With a little effort and patience, you can turn your food and yard waste into a valuable resource for your garden and the environment. Composting is a simple and effective way to reduce waste, improve soil health, and support a sustainable environment. By getting started with composting, you can take a step towards creating a healthier and more sustainable future. Thank you for watching this video about the benefits of composting and how to get started. We hope you found this information helpful and inspiring. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and liking this video to help support our content. Don't forget to leave a comment below to let us know your thoughts on composting and any tips you have for getting started. So, let's get started. Gather your materials, choose your composting method, and start composting today. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family to spread the word about the importance of composting. Together, we can make a difference and work towards a healthier, more sustainable planet. Thank you for joining us in this effort to save the Earth.